Good morning guys. Today is Tuesday and I thought I would take you guys along for the day because I decided to start vlogging just because you know um, two days ago we had a big thunderstorm and we had um, if you guys saw my last vlog you saw that we had a hurricane or typhoon not a typhoon I'm sorry we had a tropical storm here in Da Nang and I just decided you know what you never know when you're gonna have another chance to enjoy your day so just go out and do something fun so today I decided to go and explore so we're gonna go around Da Nang hello we're gonna go around Da Nang and kind of show you guys a fun day I want to have those memories for myself because you just don't know when you know we're gonna be out of lockdown again or if we have to go to lockdown so I just want to make sure that I enjoy every single moment I enjoy this beautiful city that I get to live in for now um, nothing is definite I have I like this quote that I just heard that says don't ever save anything for a special occasion because every day is a special occasion so yeah I hope you guys take that advice and I'm gonna go have a little juice this morning at this little restaurant that's by the beach I want to show you guys what it looks like this is the garden uh, it's a restaurant that's right on the beach if you see all the way to the end uh, and I just want to have a uh, juice before I go walk around the beach because I haven't had breakfast yet so I thought I would take you guys with me so you can enjoy this beautiful place and see what the Nang is about hello are you open yeah I always forget how there's so many beautiful places like this in the Nang where you can just come and enjoy a meal it is just beautiful it makes me feel like we are in the Caribbean somewhere or actually the decor here looks like it's Grecian a little bit but so beautiful and it's, it's amazing I hope you guys come here it's the garden unfortunately they are only serving drinks now they're not serving food so I only got my watermelon juice yeah but cheers Okay, so I just arrived at Bikini Bottom, which is a nice little trendy place to eat for breakfast. I'm sitting under a coconut tree and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It has the cool Vietnam sign and when you go on this side is where you order. Surfer girl. And you can order here. They have some beer, juice, fruits. So I just ordered a smoothie bowl because I'm not that hungry even though I just had a juice so I figured I would just have a smoothie bowl and kind of relax for the morning. So I want to show you guys a couple of cool places that I've been wanting to go for a long time or either I've been and I never show you guys in a vlog so I think I'm going to start doing that for today. So by the way we are in Antoine right now so if you guys hear a lot of construction noise and a lot of you know noise in general is because Antoine is the expat area or the tourist area so there's a lot of activities and a lot of construction for buildings apartments and um, you know restaurants and stuff like that so that's why it's usually really busy and noisy um, that's why we moved a little bit out of that but if you guys are first coming here to Da Nang I would always recommend going there first because you'll see more familiar restaurants and it'll make you feel like you have you know the things that you are used to seeing at first and then you can move because you've lived here and now you can go branch out and go somewhere more quiet yeah
just made it to the art place it's really nice so it's called old soul guys I got a 10 right now just walking around it's insane but I'm excited to try my first art exhibit Hello. Do you guys remember the films? <laughs> Kodak films. Oh my God. By the way, so the art, the entrance is free, but you can definitely support the artist if you guys purchase some of the art that is available here. So I am going to purchase this beautiful postcard. So if you guys are in Da Nang, definitely come and check it out. They will be open for 30 days. So October 20th would be the last time. So I definitely think you guys could come and check it out. I have the owner of the place here who is going to talk to us a little bit about the exhibit. So you were saying that you want to bring people here because you want them to experience more art in the name. Yeah. yeah, especially the local people. Uh -huh. And in the name, in the central of Vietnam. Um, because it's like something missing here is in the name. Yeah, in the central of Vietnam. So I want to build up uh, the art community in yeah. the name. I agree, especially a lot a lot of expats are leaving now, so it's good to have a location that we can all meet and do more activities and just go to the beach. <laughs> Time goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know if I can take it anymore uh -huh. So I stay here and hold my heart when you walk out the door uh -huh. So I'm back at my favorite hotel which is Sala Hotel in Da Nang you guys probably have seen this hotel from the vlog 24 hours in the Nang vlog. I was here with Ralph where we were here for, I think just, yeah, we were there just for two days, I believe, two nights. But I'll link that vlog for you guys. But we're back here because I did say I wanted to come back because you can use the pool if you want to when it's open. And it's really hot today. I, I probably got a 10 just riding around in the bike. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys another view of the back side of it because I don't know if I showed you guys. So I'll give you a full view. They have a really cool bar. And then there's a club on top which I don't think they opened at all this year. But look at this view. So anyways, uh, I brought my bathing suit because I knew I was going to go either in the beach or at the pool today because it's so hot and I wanted to enjoy the day. But, ah, oh, guys, take, it, take in this view, take in this view. Look at that. I didn't want to go in the water just because, you know, we just came back from having a tropical storm. So after the tropical storm, there's a lot of debris. You guys can see from the river. The river is actually a little brown today. And so I figured I would rather go in the pool and enjoy that instead of going in the beach. That's what I'm going to do here. My motto for today, just like Ralph, create a life worth living or enjoy every single moment of your life.
Okay guys, so I just made it to Kurumi. So this is healthy vegan desserts and food. So it's an N1 if you guys ever want to come here. And look how cute this looks. It's so Instagrammable. <laughs> I say Instagrammable, but it's cute. It's quirky. It's nice to come and sit here. They have some chairs outside. That's where I'm sitting. And inside, I'm going to show you some of the desserts that they have. She makes some really cool vegan desserts. I like the chocolate one, but she didn't do it today. So there's pumpkin. So it's a cool digital nomad spot for you guys to come and hang out. So I hope you guys can enjoy this. We have a new thing on the menu today, which is a brownie with ice cream. So I want to try that. So I'm going to show you guys. So here it is. Oh, it's melting already. It's so hot outside. Let me see. What's the temperature outside? 91. Mm. Guys, brownies, brownies. Ah. The brownie is warm, so obviously when you eat it with the ice cream, it's you kind of have like this cool feeling in your mouth, warm, cold. And the ice cream actually tastes like a caramel ice cream. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Definitely try this one, guys. There's also another one that's, um, it's a chocolate tart or pie. I don't know exactly. It's one of my favorite. I have that with coconut coffee sometimes, and it's really good. But yeah, I really like this because it's a mixture of like a brownie with regular like uh, vanilla ice cream but this is kind of like a caramel taste really good really good mm, options options so like I said this is a really cool place you guys can come and hang out I wanted to show you more options here in Da Nang especially in Antoine because there's a lot of new shops that have opened look who's here <laughs> Ralph just called me and I was just telling him that I'm at Karumi, so he came and said hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the barber changed a little bit of the look I was trying to get. Oh yeah, I want to see your hair. Mm -hmm. You want to sit here? I want to know what you think of it. So I get to see it firsthand. So I, I told them to cut it. Uh huh. Like, like fade it down low. Uh mm -hmm. But he like did it very high. So I don't know what you. Did. So he cut more. Yeah, he cut off more than I uh, than I told him to. Okay. Well, he tried something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You look like a soccer player. You do. Turn around. Whoa! <laughs> it's so not you. Huh? It's not you. I know. I didn't. I was looking at it. I'm like, man, I look like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No, no, but yeah. it's so not your style. I was like, <laughs> he said my face was too long, so he decided to like do it like higher than mm -hmm. the I just wanted to him to fade it down low mm -hmm. I didn't want him to cut anything down here but yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think huh? <laughs> yes guess. or no <laughs> it's I probably it's messy different. right now because of this but yeah. I wonder what your mom is going to say we'll see yeah. <laughs> hi <laughs> you made it Here's the owner, Daria. Say hello. Oh, oh. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. <laughs> She's the one who makes the amazing desserts that I just showed you guys. Yeah, great. It was brownie? I had the brownie. You yeah. had it today. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Here's like some water. Yeah. So today, did I show you what I'm wearing today? I'm wearing my wedding ring. <laughs> wedding ring. <laughs> wedding ring uh -huh. i had to because so many people keep asking me Who you if, married to? no 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 they keep asking me <laughs> they keep asking me if he's my brother so i don't do see look, it i don't yeah, we see don't it. look alike but. i don't know where you guys get this i don't i don't see it but i said i'm gonna wear my ring today and if somebody asks me do you know this guy yes it's my husband yeah. <laughs> if you guys ever want vegan desserts you gotta come here she's also adding now some pumpkin so seasonal desserts definitely come here and you said you have coffee now right yes yeah we have on coffee now. yeah come on guys okay guys so we're just going to head home we have to work later so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i actually followed your advice today so i live i created a life worth living today okay you did yes i did <laughs> high five <laughs> now your turn your turn have a great day guys <laughs> bye